Hey guys, I'm Mike. Welcome back to Unbox Warehouse, where we check out some of the coolest products maybe you've never heard of. Also, every single month we do a giveaway. We got too much stuff piling up around here. I'd like to give it back to you, the subscribers. There's more information in the description if you're interested. So here in sunny Florida, the weather's changing, the leaves are falling, the grass is growing up faster than ever. I gotta keep up with this yard. And running this YouTube channel doesn't give me a lot of time to run and get gas and fix lawnmowers and tweak carburetors and I don't know how that stuff works. That's why a while ago I got rid of that gas burning lawnmower that was driving me up the wall and I got this nice electric ego mower. There's a link to the review right here. That thing changed my life. So the problem with cutting my grass was solved. The only problem is, well let me just show you. So a few months ago I bought this Ryobi leaf blower and it's got a 40 volt battery on it. It's pretty compact. You hold all the weight in your hand and it worked pretty good. I've used this a ton. For small jobs, this is amazing. So for big jobs, like a lot of leaves in your yard, this doesn't really cut it. That's why you see all the professionals have those Ghostbuster type backpack blowers. Those things are amazing. So I picked up one of those. Unfortunately, it was gas. So now I'm back in the gas business. So let me show you guys what it's like to use one of these big gasoline backpack powered blowers. Now doesn't that look like fun? That's why I about freaked out when I saw this thing for sale. This is Ego's new electric backpack powered blower. This thing is freaking amazing. I get all the power and convenience of the gas blower without any of the headache. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is what it feels like to blow leaves with the Ego backpack powered blower. See what I'm saying? Don't you want that in your life? So let's get into the meat of this review and let's do a couple real world comparisons against the gas one versus this electric one. Number one is weight. The first thing we're looking at is the weight. Even with the battery on this, this thing weighs 17 pounds. That is not that much when you have it on your back compared to my gas power blower, which weighs 26 pounds. That is a substantial difference. You're looking at a nine pound difference. Put a nine pound weight in your pocket and go run around your yard for the next 20 minutes. See if that doesn't wear you out. So for our next test, we're gonna check out the blowing force of this electric one versus the gas one. So I rigged up this sheet of paper so I could see the air blowing out of these things and then measure how far I can go back and still blow the paper. Seems scientific enough, but it's not. Let's see how far that we can blow this scientific wind power device that I built. Ready to go. Oh, killed it from here. Still killing it. Okay. I'm really far back. Okay, I'm still blowing it from here. Man, this is going further than I thought. I'm gonna put the ego down right here. That's about where I can still affect this thing. Now let's do the gas one. Ugh, I hate this thing. Okay, that one goes about there. So you could see there's about a five foot difference that I can blow my high performance scientific wind power meter here. Okay, that thing was stupid. I'm gonna try a different approach. Basically earlier I made this huge leaf pile out here and I'm gonna stand back 
and blow that leaf pile and see which one I can blow leaves around the leaf pile. That seems a little better. Let's try it. First up is the gas powered beast right here. Let's see, hate this thing. say about right there up next is the ego electric let's see oh this is way stronger I can see it blowing the ground so this is from the same spot I'd say about right here. So there's about a three or four foot difference in length. And for the third test, we're gonna talk about the noise levels. Obviously, I think this electric one is gonna win hands down, but let's check it out. So next is the sound test. We're gonna see how loud this is. So I have a dB meter running right here, and I'm gonna put it the same distance between each of these. Now here is full blast on turbo for the Ego electric blower. That's just idling. I haven't even gave it any I haven't even gave it any gas yet. Here's from, and this is from behind the ego. Okay, that was a little bit surprising. I'm not sure how accurate this app is um, because that's all I have. I don't have a real DB meter, so this isn't probably the best test, but this showed that the electric one was running at about 78 decibels, and this one was running about 83 decibels. So, in person standing here, this gas one is so loud I can't even hear myself think and the electric one is still a little bit loud but it's very bearable. So, I prefer the electric. Now the fourth category is not a comparison category because the gas one doesn't use a battery. So we're gonna check out how long the battery actually lasts in normal use for this Ego electric, that's hard to say, Ego backpack power blower. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. So now we're gonna do the battery test. I got a full battery in this beast and I'm just gonna basically use this blower like normal. I'm not gonna run it on turbo or full speed the whole time. I'm gonna use it like a normal blower so it's gonna be off and on, but I'm gonna see how long it's gonna take before this battery cuts out on me under normal use. It's not scientific. Okay, so the battery just ran out on me and it's been 22 minutes and 44 seconds. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot, um, but I'm already kind of done blowing. I've done almost the whole yard. I've done the driveway, the porch, the back, everything. I even went along the fence line and I got everything blown. So 23 minutes doesn't seem like much, but when you got a blower this powerful, you get a whole lot done. And the good thing is, is this uses the same exact battery as my mower. So I can just go grab another battery and I got another 23 minutes out of it. So let's see now that the battery's completely dead, how long it takes to charge it. 
So this battery now is completely dead. If you push this button, you see it's flashing red. This is the charger that came with the blower. So we'll try it on this, see how long it takes. And then we'll compare it to this speed charger that came with the 21 inch self-propelled Ego electric mower. I think this one's gonna be a lot faster. So let's see what the difference is. Green means charging. Um, an hour and 40 minutes and the light finally went out. That means it's completely charged. That is with the standard charger. It takes a while for these five amp batteries to charge. It says on the website like 80 minutes, but it took me um, right here about 100 minutes to charge this five amp hour battery on the charger that came with the mower. This is the 30 minute charger. It'll charge these five amp hour batteries in like 40 minutes. Um, we're gonna put it on there and give it a shot and see how fast it charges. But if you have one of these and you have two batteries, you can pretty much use this blower non-stop. Take a little five to 10 minute break in between blowing sessions and you can go all day with this little combination right here. So it's at 100% in 42 minutes using the fast charger that came with the Ego lawnmower. And there you go, Ego is the hands down winner. There's no reason to go back to gas unless you're running a commercial lawn mowing business. If you're a homeowner, this is what you need. It's lighter, it puts out more air, it's quieter, you're not gonna upset your neighbors, and the battery life is a lot longer because the battery life on the gas powered one is zero. It's the best I could do. So this thing wins in all four categories. I'm becoming a huge fan of Ego. They're like the Tesla of lawn equipment. They also have some other crazy products that hopefully I can get my hands on. If you don't believe me, wait a few days and check out the comments below about how much people love their Ego equipment. Now, one thing that I will warn you about when you're using the Ego backpack powered blower is never cross the streams, ever. We'll cross the streams. Excuse me, Egon, you said crossing the streams was bad. Cross the streams. And that, my friends, is the 56 volt Ego backpack powered blower. Also, don't forget the giveaway. Literally, if I don't get rid of some of this stuff, my wife's gonna start getting really upset. Information is in the description below. If you wanna see more videos, check out one of these right here. Those are pretty cool products. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon down there so you can see what we open next, right here on Unbox Warehouse. And not to mention, doesn't it just look way cooler? Look at this thing.